Hello, and welcome. And, uh, as you can see, I've been working, uh, I worked on it a little bit. I finished out the, the bookcase that I actually need. I'm trying to figure out what to do about, uh, this part right here, because it looks really out of place. But I tried extending it the whole way, but unfortunately, that also looks out of place whenever I close them out. Which... Oops. That right there is a bit of a discrepancy with the the button, because somewhere along the line, it's I'm assuming this block right here for some other reason, it's doing it. But to be honest, I could really care less about that. But uh, I mean, whenever it's fully retracted like that, it looks pretty good. And there's gonna be bookcases in here, and whatever. Whatever's going to be up there, above that. I'm probably going to put wood around the edges here, and I'll have a wood ceiling as well. But, that's enough of that. That is finished. It is works. It is works. It works. I've got the floor in here. Uh, I kind of like it, and I kind of don't at the same time, but I'm just going to leave it alone, because... I just realized I have a serious flaw. I have not planned anything of what I plan to do for this entire episode. Maybe a small oversight. I also don't have a miscellaneous chest. Which I guess is what's going in here at the moment. Why not? No? Maybe? Could be? Realistically, I really, one of these days, should learn to do things off-camera and make sure I have a sorted inventory instead of doing this. But, I didn't. So, I don't have a whole lot... Well, I don't really have anything planned for this episode. I do kind of want to find a s nether stronghold, but... The nether has been really, really laggier and laggier with every patch I've noticed. I still haven't done anything with this because I haven't decided whether or not I like it yet. But I think what I might do is I'm probably going to want to grab some more wood. Uh, might as well grab the rest of that. Because I think I'm going to make the uh, I'm going to make an XP farm. Oh, and just because I want one and I don't have one, I am going to... I think I know how to make it. I probably don't. Iron block. Or I can make a little chest-looking thing. What is it? One, two, three, one, two, three? No. That? No. No. I need... I need more iron. More iron! More! Let's try... Two iron blocks? I am so confused. I'm trying to make an anvil, but apparently I'm... I, I don't know... What am I doing exactly here? I have a feeling it's actually this way. No? <sighs> Whatever. No anvil. Make anvil some other time. Screw it. Take you with me. Uh, three of it. Whatever. Screw it! Unprepared. There's probably going to be some... Well, actually, plenty of cutting. I don't even remember where the spawners were at this point. I am terrible. I know they weren't very far. I think they were down in this cave? I think? Oh, yeah. It'd be pretty hard to miss that. Hmm. Okay. Hey, what are you doing down here? Hey. That's it. I know I have at least two more of you. Goodbye! You are the weakest link! 
Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this place cleared out. I'm going to get it sized up. I'm going to get everything ready. And I kind of want to test... A, see, I want to make an anvil because I was thinking... You know, falling traps are cool and everything, but if you drop anvils on things, you can kill them. And I kind of want to soften them up with an anvil, just because I think it'd be funny. So, I'm going to get this cleared out for maximum spawn rate and everything. And I want to harvest up the mossy cobble on the bottom. And uh, I'll be back with you guys shortly. And we are back, and thankfully it has stopped raining too, but it is now night time. Uh, I have done a little bit more work. I've got all this stuff set up in here. Standard mob mob evader. And I looked into the anvil. And the reason why I couldn't do it is because it's even more expensive than I had previously anticipated. I had the same general idea down, but uh, I had the whole thing wrong. But I have this here. However... I'm not entirely sure this is going to quite work as I intend. Because I don't know what the sign will do. Will it still do damage? That is another important question. Um, yes, I think. Uh, hmm. So we got our anvil. I'm going to block that off. I'm going to destroy this sign. Take off my armor. And I can't see what's going on. Place this here. Oh, I did three hearts of damage. That's actually considerable considering the height I put it at. Okay, it does three hearts of damage right there. Now, if I put this sign back in, I'll free up this water now. Um, come on, come on. Go back to full health. I want to check and see if it still does three. Ah, very good, because that'll also auto destruct it for me, too. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds about right. I have the, uh, the formula up here. It says fallen blocks minus two. Times 1.5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, that would be about 4. Now, in order to... Oh, that's like physical. So, wait a second here. Now, 5. And I only increased that by 2, and I lost two hearts it looked like. So if I bump that up... Well, two hearts more. So if I bump that up to... What? Four more blocks? Three? I think three. I didn't bring any ladders. This could be a small oversight. I'm gonna have to reset it every time. But... I don't know. I'm gonna consider it interesting enough that I won't care. Now, if that's there, I didn't bring any redstone, so I don't have an easy way to set this up. Oopsie. I do have slightly, slightly damaged anvil. Oh. That may have just put a kink in this situation, because that means, in a short version... The, an the anvil is taking damage from falling. Which, while it can fall, it can't be pushed. So, if I put that thing there... Now, I want to go release the floodgates. Oh, pick broke. That's... That's a problem. Shit! Nope, give me my shovel back. Give it back. And it seems I may have made a slight water miscalculation. Hmm. 
Well, crap. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Ah, oh, hey, screw off. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just put water up there. This is a terrible idea. What? I think I may have just accidentally duplicated water somehow. Can I do that again? No. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. As much as... Oh, oh god. Okay. Now, as much as I don't want to use my silk touch pick for non-silk touching needs... Oh, hey! Oh. Well, I did just silk touch there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. It's for horses? Oh. Oh. Hey, guy. Oh. Okay. That didn't seem quite right. Hey, a wolf. Where'd you come from? You're only supposed to spawn in tundra biomes. What the hell? Oh no. Oh, shit. Urgh. Screw you, buddy. Where's my sword? Oh no, 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 no! Fuck. I need a sword. Do I not have... Whoa. Ah, crap. So... Building during the night may be a bad idea. Oh. Come on now. Arr. Ah, crap. They're picking all my stuff up. God, now there's even a zombie out here. I need... I definitely need a sword. Um, what am I doing? Iron. My iron sword I had was about to break, but I'm more concerned about my silk touch pick. Take some of these. I got this. No, I shouldn't theoretically be far enough away for them to even despawn, so... Oh. Oh. Got the important thing. Hey guys. Drop my cobble. Oh, 
Uh, take that for a second, would you? Oh, that is not a pick. Okay. Why are you guys not stacking properly? Stack, damn you. Oh, not again. Did you see him flail his arms at me? One second. Oh, stop it. Hey, chain mail. Chain mail. Ew. You want to drop any chain mail? No. Okay. Hmm. Actually, you, you're in the way. Theoretically, the anvil should ignore the sign till it reaches the bottom, right? Theoretically, this should cut off the flow of zombies. Screw you guys. Now. Okay, it still hurt them. That's good. Still wasting my pick here. Okay. Put a sign down here to auto break it for me. Two punches. So I believe if I were to set that bar any higher, the result would be them basically not dying. Or would be dying. They would be dying in one hit. I believe. Uh, I could theoretically test it. Theoretically? Theoretically. <laughs> no, seriously, it's theoretically theoretically. So you know I want to test that. Hey guys. Are they dead? No, they are not. In fact, it doesn't seem like a lot of them have even really taken damage. Which is strange. Hmm. Very interesting. Will mobs stand on top of a ladder? Um, didn't I have another sword? Did it break? Eh. Oh well. So, things may have 
went considerably worse than previously anticipated. Zombies. Spawn. Okay. You're on top of the ladder. Now, theoretically, this won't break till it hits the top ladder. That or the ladder will keep it still. I'm confused as to which is which in this case. Um, the ladder is kind of keeping them from stacking, though. Did it... Does it sit... Oh, it, it does just kind of hover on the ladder. Oh, a carrot! Hmm. I am... I am quite happy about this whole process. All of this has turned out in a way that I approve. Other than my deaded sword. Right. Well. How does one repair anvil? There was a bug where you could actually repair the anvil just by destroying it and then replacing it, but, uh,. Actually, what was that? I don't know. I need to stop wasting my silk touch pick. That's the short version of the story. But, uh, should be able to theoretically now repair this pick. Theoretically. I kind of want a new pick, though. So, uh... Perhaps holding lava in my hand in a room made mostly of wood is a bad idea. But... Anyhow... To my knowledge, you can actually get upgraded versions of the different levely things. So, like, right now, I can take this and I could theoretically enchant it with my 13 levels and I'll get ooh, ooh. now I could theoretically take that and let's take this slightly damaged anvil put him in there put him in there and for 32 levels I can make efficiency 4 on breaking 2 And the best part about that is I can always, you know, then just repair this later. Now, oh, apparently you have to have something else in there to do that. Uh, okay. I'm fine with the efficiency 2 and breaking 2. I'm not going to make a big deal over that. But, uh, I got the experience farm. Carrots, though. Carrots. You. I need a sword. I just now realized this fact. I need a sword. I have the materials. Alrighty then. Sword, shovel. See, I could actually use this shovel to repair an enchanted shovel later. Or vice versa, I could enchant this and then repair it later, using that without losing my enchant. But it would cost me some enchanting levels. But, since I don't have full enchanting levels, I'm not too concerned. Uh, I'm probably going to go back to branch mining. I don't know if this is necessarily all that long of an episode. Still slightly damaged. But, anvils are cool. And kind of expensive. Uh, what is the rough material cost? Really fucking expensive. If I'm right, it costs 55 iron to make an anvil. Which isn't that bad, I guess. It's 
especially with a branch mine. I mean, right there. There's an anvil. Oh, I need fortune. I really need a fortune three pick. And I'm really considering doing it out of gold because they have a higher enchantability. But, uh, tell you what. I think I'll do that. I'll spend a little bit of time in the branch mine. I'll spend a little bit of time in the experience farm. Uh, oh. Shit. I had a stack of glass. Oh, those bastards. So I think there is a bit of a glitch with the zombies, though. Where, oh. No, okay. I, I didn't have the stack of glass on me. It was still in here. Um, if you're wondering why it's still in there, even though I could have swore I had it on me, the game has some issues. Uh, it does like to crash now. At least for me. Ooh. Case in point. Yeah, see? It's in here again. Uh, hopefully I don't have issues editing those back together. Because I use virtual dub and not like Vegas or something because of the codec I use and because I can't get mp3 output from like Vegas or power director or any of those uh, Vegas hates lame mp3 so anyhow ow. the short version is I'm going to try and get a fortune pick what the hell are you doing down there Whoa! Did you guys see that? That was a lot of zombies. Oh, I need to put that back. So, yeah, basically, I am putting a glass wall so I can see down in there because I want to. Hey, guys. How are you doing? So, yeah, I'm going to be doing some zombie killing. Uh, I'm going to record the enchanting of any tools I enchant, such as fortune and stuff. And because I'll be able to use enchanting levels to repair stuff, like if I get... Oh, that's something I haven't tried. wonder what happens if you try and combine like a gold pick with a diamond pick or something. If you can get... Ooh. I don't know. Let me get away from these zombies. But, uh... Got that glass wall in there like I wanted. Let's just top that off real quick before that bothers me. There we go. I might try and do something about this. Uh, probably not, though. Simply because of the fact that it doesn't really bother me. My biggest concern is that the zombies will end up stealing my anvil one of these times, and I won't get it back, and then I'll just get mad and set up a piston... Piston Crusher for them, which will take a while, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, I apologize if this, apologize if this is short, but I will see you guys.